Okay, I was listening to that, oh, that Will Bender sent up guy that was waking up, and I was listening to him for about five minutes, and then I thought of something. So, and I was glad to hear him talking. I mean, that was awesome what he was talking about. But you know that I've talked in my uh, videos and suggested that you go see Dr. Emoto's work on water. Now, this isn't um, ooh -ah -oo weirdness. This is actual real scientific data kind of like the quantum mechanics has been proven. But you need to take that information and you need to put it out in your world. It'll just help you um, believe more of the stuff that I'm saying so that you can be a more conscientious creator God. So if you take the stuff with Dr. Emoto and he basically shows how you can take, let's, uh, one of his examples is he took a bottle of water from the dam with the really really polluted water he put I love you or thank you or something on the outside waited uh, uh, a day or two and then took pictures of the molecules before and after putting it in the water with the bottle with thank you on it no one even said anything I think he also did uh, experiments where a Buddhist monk gave a, a blessing to water in a bottle that was polluted. Now, if you look at those pictures, the water molecules don't even look like they've got any semblance of order at all in the in the polluted water. But after being in the bottle of water with uh, I love you written on it, it comes out to be this beautiful crystalline uh, shape. Now, this has all been done over and over and over again, so it's verified. Now, if you put in their insert that your body is made up of so much water 80 percent water something like that and your children your friend your enemy your uh, plants that you eat your animals that you eat everything the air that you breathe there's a lot of water in all of that so you can translate that into what i tell you to do or ask you to do to have a better life is uh, be happier and happier and happier and if you are loving everything and appreciating everything including yourself first then all of those molecules of water will turn into these crystalline uh, molecules now anybody that knows you also know that those crystals you can put you can put in, um, information in those crystals right that's how computers work with crystals. Everything is based on this crystalline factor. And you can look all this stuff up on the internet. So even your science is getting closer and closer and closer to prove what I've talk, talked to you about. So therefore, if everything looks like all the molecules look like crap and then they look beautiful, then it's just translatable. Now that beautiful crystalline water, you can now drink it. Now, in the bottle, before being in the bottle where it says love, you couldn't drink it. It was poisonous to your body. Make you sick. After being in a bottle with thank you or I love you written on the outside, now you can drink the water. Now, you don't have to put it in a bottle. You don't have to let it sit for 24 hours. It doesn't have to be a Buddhist monk that does it. You can do that. You can do that with the air that you breathe. So every time you take a breath of water, you know that there's water in the air with that breath that you're taking. You say thank you to the air. You appreciate it. Now every molecule of, once you believe, every molecule of water that you take a breath in now is uh, phenomenally, beautifully, puri purifyingly clean. Clean water in your system helps clean out your system, getting rid of disease, which I love this. I heard from somewhere disease is dis-ease. You're, you're not at ease, which is very, very true of disease. So therefore, when you think of things like chemtrails, they no longer affect you anymore because now you know with every breath, you're full of love and appreciation. So even if there's poison in the air, it's now been fixed before it gets to your lungs by your thanking it 
changing those molecules of water into crystalline pure air. Okay? Same thing is true with the water you drink. Same thing is true with anything you eat, which is how my daughter does it. I told you she could eat anything. She transmutes it so that it can be effective in her body. Well, that's what you're doing, and you're doing it with every molecule. It's just I'm telling you about water because there are actual studies and proof that, that those molecules have been changed with intention or verbalization. So you already know if you just watch a little bit, won't take you long. If you go M E M O T O, Dr. Emoto, if you put Dr. Emoto in water, then you'll get all the YouTube videos that you need. And you can see that it's already been proven to be done with water. And for those of you that believe a little bit more than that, it's not a big stretch to believe that you can do it with all molecules. That all, all molecules will react the same way. Whether it's been proven, pictures have been taken or not. Okay? So, when I tell you to be happier and happier and happier, all those molecules around you um, are purified and made beautiful when they're in your body and around you in such a beautiful state. They vibrate at a different frequency that takes you to different timelines, different options of reality, and you're surrounded with creator gods who agree with you in that moment on that timeline uh, with that vibrating at that frequency. You can do it with um, the person that you're around. They're 80% water. Now, if you look at them and you say, I hate you, I'm so mad at you because of what you've done to me in the past, I'm scared of you because of what you could do to me in the future, then the water molecules in that person will go, <laughs> and the person will not be able to vibrate. That aspect will not be able to vibrate higher, cleaner. They will stay in the lower vibrations. They will do things that will not be good for you. However, if you look at that person, send them intense love, appreciation, understanding that they are creator God, and they are only doing what you've agreed to do at this vibratory level that you are, which is totally under your control. Totally under your control. You see, it all ties together, everything that I've said. Whenever you talk about different frequencies, I've told you everything's in the now, and you're like a TV station. I mean, a TV tuner, a radio tuner. So you don't have to go anywhere to go to 5D. It's already here. You have to tune yourself so that's what you're experiencing. You don't have to go anywhere to go to the lower levels of 3D. You All you have to do is tune yourself or untune yourself to be able to go into that discord that is the lower vibrations of 3D. And you do that by, number one, being upset at yourself or loving yourself. Lower channels, channel 2 versus channel 200. But it's you in this crystalline form. Crystalline form is full of consciousness. Your form is full of all kinds of molecules. All of that is consciousness. All of that can be changed with your belief and that's been proven with Dr. Emoto's uh, experiments. All you have to do, guys, is take what's already out there, correlate it into your life, and you can see that what I'm saying, what I experienced on the other side, just all makes sense. It just makes sense. And then you can believe it, start to believe it, and you can start affecting change. The reason why I say be happier is because it's the easiest way of transforming all of those little molecules in order to affect change on a big level. That way you don't have to think about, oh, okay, well, that person I'm angry at, but I want a better aspect of them, so I'm going to send them love so that their molecules in their body will vibrate differently, so I go to a different timeline with a different aspect of them, because all of that took a long time. But if I just know all that with everyone, everything, every moment of all time, then I can simply say, okay, I got that. I know how it works. So therefore, because I want it to be better, I'm going to be happy. Send out love, myself, big hugs to you, big hugs. Clean up those molecules on a day-to-day -day basis, moment to moment, several times a day. I look out at this world, on this planet, 
and I send love and appreciation to every single water molecule on the planet. In that way, I can affect, make things a little bit better for everyone in this timeline, in this moment. And then all of a sudden, all of the stuff that I that I know about, all the Illuminati stuff, all of it can be can be uh, transmuted very very quickly. Whenever you find out all the stuff that they control, it can be very overwhelming. You can get very despondent and go, well, what's the point? They hold all the cards. There's nothing I can do about it. And there isn't anything you can do about it when you play their game. But if you play outside their game from the perspective of being a creator god, of knowing what you're doing, of changing the timelines and the aspects of you and everyone else, of vibrating higher to good wherever you want to go, wherever you want to go, 4D, 5D, beyond, whatever, wherever you want to go, then they no longer have any power over you at all. Which is why they've done all the stuff that they've done so that you will not remember what I'm telling you. That you will not correlate all of the data that is already out there that will prove it to you. Quantum mechanics, everything that's been said about string theory, um, uh, books, source field investigations, all of the stuff that's been done that he writes about. Uh, there's a lot of information, there's a lot of studies that will prove the stuff that I have told you about. That it's not some kind of ooh uh, weirdness. This is scientifically proven and it's all, it's all done always so that it makes sense. It makes sense if you know the rest of the story. Now you know that you can do this and you do have the rest of the story. It makes it easy. The most straight-laced attorney, accountant, Wall Street banker can listen to Dr. Emoto, look at the facts and listen to what I say and be able to incorporate that into his life. And why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to? If you can do this and get better at it, better at it, not get sidetracked, and I know it's easy to get sidetracked. I know I get out of it all the time. I turn around and look the wrong way. I'm correcting all the time. But once you understand that you do control all of it, and you can do it with a thought, with an intent, with, with um, a belief system, you can do it change everything for yourself which means you go to a different channel on that TV now that TV all the channels are available to that TV to that radio right now You're sitting in front of it all of them are available you get to choose by turning that channel that channel turning that channel changes to a different frequency like stuff from the satellite radio satellite systems whatever you will pick it up based on where that tuner is set. Your body is a tuner. Your consciousness is the hand turning the tuner. And if you want to go down, then you think negative bad thoughts. And that will create more for those kind of intense purposes and or intense um, experiences. And you can keep doing it and get madder and madder and angrier and more despondent. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that. Because those are experiences too and they're important to the whole. The all that is, the we that are. But if you've already done that and you're ready to go a different direction, that's all I'm saying. If you get caught up in the, if you need to know the why, what, where, how, then that's, I just told you how it works, that it's been proven. That intent changes the water molecules. It also changes all the rest of them all the rest of them but you can see on you've got proof on the water molecules you've got proof so since there are water molecules everywhere and if you are happier and happier and happier which includes appreciation love uh, all of those gratefulness all of those things will be included in being happier and happier by sending out those vibrations around you you will tune your human skin suit body to a different vibration that will create take you to different timelines where everything around you is vibrating at that vibration wherever you intend it to but keep in mind what's in front of you is really your past that's what you 
tuned to five minutes ago or yesterday. So you can't, all you can use today for is to see where you are. So you can see, oh, okay, I was on channel two and I want to go to 200. Check the channel. Oh, looks like I'm at about 40. Okay, I still want to go to 200, so let's keep going. That's all today matters to you, is to assess where you are vibrationally so you can make adjustments towards where you want to be. And the simplest way to do that, I have found, is to be a little bit happier tomorrow than yesterday. Makes it simple, makes it easy. Okay? Alright guys, so go check out Dr. Amuto's work. Uh, like I've said, watch What the Bleep Do We Know. It's pretty decent, pretty decent. And see if those two things, if you can't put them in your head and help you be able to go to different timelines, how it makes sense. That you don't have to have an NDE. You don't have to be enlightened. All you've got to do is see the results of these, these the proof of these uh, scientific facts and incorporate it into yourself. That's all. It's simple. Keep it simple. Don't make it so complicated. When you do that, you'll be a little bit happier tomorrow. And isn't that what we all want anyway? Isn't that what you really want? Not the Ferrari, not the new, the money. You really want to just be happier, a little bit happier tomorrow than yesterday. Okay, guys, that's it for me right now. Huge hugs. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.